All right, so we're back at what we're now calling the Adventure Center, which was previously our production building. Since we moved manufacturing out, we're sort of in a transition period between this being manufacturing, vehicle installs, customer bills, that type of thing, to only the vehicle touching pieces, which are customer builds and, and all of our installs. So uh, don't mind the mess, we're working on that, but we didn't want to stop our progress. So we're building instead of cleaning, but Regardless, what I wanted to do is show you guys what the Jeep JL, our, our company JL, looked like right after we got back from the four-wheeler overland adventure. I mean, we haven't even washed this thing. We haven't cleaned it out. All that I've done is take out the food. So I wanted to give you guys a first-hand look of exactly how this thing was when we got back from the trip. All right, the first thing that you probably already noticed is the triple slide. This thing was absolutely amazing, more so than I thought it was going to be. The, the coolest part about it was there were a lot of times when we would pull up to a spot and you only had a few seconds to get out and whip up a sandwich and get back on the trail. And a lot of times we didn't even put the leg down. So most of the meals that I cooked from back here were just, you know, freestanding and, and it worked out great. Tons of instant table space and it folds back up and slides back in super quick. So this is literally the, the V1 of this low pro triple slide. There are a few minor changes I'm making to it. None that you would probably notice in this video and we'll have this up on the site ready to release really quick. So this turned out amazing. I'm super happy with it. So the next thing that was super high on my testing priority list for this trip was our JL rear seat delete. So unfortunately, I didn't get any video of that while I was in there, but we do have quite a few photos that we'll show on the screen now. With that rear seat delete in, obviously there was a ton more space in the back of the JL. So it was just James and me that left on the initial part of that trip together. So we didn't need the back seat and having that rear seat delete in was amazing. We stuck our water back there. We had tons of extra gear, a lot of floor space and, and we had easy access to strap things down. It worked out really well. What I didn't realize is how much extra room we actually had by doing that. So when we left out from the trip, we had the new ARB Zero installed in the low pro triple slide. It was amazing. This fridge is absolutely in my opinion, probably the best fridge on the market. Unfortunately, it's really large. So this is their sort of 35 size fridge. This is the smallest zero they're gonna make. Uh, the thing that really bit me was that all of the edges are sort of vertical. So like with the Dometic and the, the earlier ARBs and, and a lot of the other fridges in the market, they sort of curve in at the tops and the bottoms and the sides and things like that. What I didn't realize is that with the rear seat delete in, not, and us not having the seat back stood up, we had lots of space. When we put the seats in, we couldn't get the fridge in. So if you guys noticed when we were pulling out this thing, I had this sucker like all crooked and I had padding on the front of it. That's because that's the only way I could get it to fit. So even though I really like this fridge, uh, it's not gonna work for, for my needs. Uh, I prefer the extra table space of the low pro triple slide. So for this one, we'll probably go back to like a Dometic 45 uh, that seems to be the, the biggest fridge we can fit in this size space. So if you like this fridge, which I do, I think it's amazing. What we'll need to do is we'll, we have a new version of, a, I'm not going to spill the beans too much on it yet, uh, but we also have our flat slide. So the flat slide and the new slide we're coming out with will both accommodate this fridge. Basically, it moves it down lower about an inch and a half, two inches, and frees up all that room in the back for the, for the rear angle of the seat. So needless to say, uh, this is a piece that didn't work out too great, but uh, it's just a packaging problem, not a failure of any one component. But overall, love the fridge. Uh, it, just it just has some special needs. So. So the other thing that worked out really well is all the table space that we created with all the mass components, uh, including the Versa table. So generally when I go out, it's me, my wife, and my two kids. So when we cook a meal, it's a pretty decent production. So having all the table space we can get is, is always a big task. And with the addition of our flat slide here, uh, the flat top on the Airbase Zero was really nice, uh, low pro triple slide, Versa table, 
all this stuff sort of worked out great to just create tons of table space. Generally, we had a bunch of food and things, so it's, it's a little more tidy here than it was out on the trail. But you guys kind of get the idea that we, we made it all to where you could stand in this one spot and just turn and get to everything that you needed to prepare your meal. So all in all, super happy how it turned out. It all folds up in just a couple of minutes and you get back on the trail pretty quick. So we're happy with it. Another thing that worked out exceptionally well is the overhead molly shelf. I first thought this was gonna be used mostly by me to stick bags and sunglasses and whatever, just sort of as a shelf. The more we got into it, the more we started putting things up here, what we use it for mostly now is to mount the radio control unit and our radio remote display up here. Another thing that James figured out that was super cool that turned out great was the ability to put magnets on the back of the radio microphone and our Garmin inReach and things like that. And then we put a little piece of steel that bolts right up here and it's super easy to put your mic and everything up there. They never fell off one single time on the trail and we pushed it pretty hard. So I'm actually working on a new component now. So we'll offer little Molly inserts that snap into there and bolt in that have a steel button on the back. So we'll be able to sell those. Super easy addition to your overhead Molly shelf. So there were some times on this trip that I was actually able to push the JL pretty hard and I could not be happier with how the suspension worked on this thing. So pretty recently, we swapped out the Icon 2.0 shocks to their new 2.5 remote reservoir shocks. These things performed absolutely flawlessly on the trail. So the only thing that's a little different than what we normally run is before we left, we threw in a set of Firestone airbags in the back. And so that took us about 30 minutes to install, maybe 45 at the most. And we don't have hardly any air in them right now. So they're basically just sort of a, uh, a zero PSI bag that prevents the compression so much. And we did that because we carried a ton of gear with us. So we were, we were actually out away from uh, civilization for a little over a week. So we took a bunch of food, a bunch of gear. Uh, I took stuff for my family because we met up uh, with them sort of halfway during the trip. So the Jeep stayed loaded down pretty well and the suspension performed flawlessly. Couldn't be happier with the Icon stuff. So if you guys have followed us for very long, you know how much of a fan I am of the Nitto Trail Grapplers. So on this particular Jeep and our JK, we run the exact same wheel and tire combination. So 20 inch wheel, which I know is not the norm for off-road, but with this particular tire in a 38 and a thick sidewall, we run about 12 to 15 PSI most of the time to run sort of high speed trails. Uh, when we crawl and are doing pretty slow, we'll go down to about 11, 10 or 11 PSI. You have to be a little more careful with that since we're not running a beadlock, but these tires, the amount of abuse that I put these things through in the last week would blow your mind. Uh, I like to drive pretty hard, uh, pretty fast through the rough rocks and things like that. These things are flawless. Could not be happier with the Netto Trail Grapplers. All right, one last thing I want to touch on is sort of our V2 of the spare tire platform. So if you guys noticed the first version that came out, we had the straps running sort of long ways around the outside of the tire. That worked great, but just scared me a little bit. So this new version, version two, we go around the tire the other direction, and this could not be more solid. It is absolutely attached and couldn't be happier with the mounting. What we use this for mostly was carrying firewood and things that you wouldn't necessarily want to put inside. Uh, it'd be great for carrying fuel cans and, and other stuff like that that needs to live outside. So right now I'm working on mounts for Max Tracks, Rotopacks. Uh, we've got a shovel mount that's going to go here. Uh, other things that are sort of temporary that you don't necessarily want to carry around with you every day as a daily driver. You can come out here in about, about a minute. You can pop these two ratchet straps off and pull the entire assembly off of the spare tire. So it worked out really great for us. Happy with it. So all in all, over the entire week of trail riding and long distance driving, uh, there was plenty of asphalt, plenty of trail, uh, plenty of rocks. I could not be happier with how the entire package performed. Like I touched on earlier, the only thing that wasn't perfect was that zero fridge and the low pro slider, low pro triple slide in combination with the, with the rear seat angle. So that's something that wasn't really prepared for that we kind of had to deal with that on the trail and that's why it was kind of turned sideways. But, uh, the rear seat delete was amazing, overhead molly was good, spare tire platform was good, all the mass components were great, the Icon was amazing, and we had an absolute blast on the four-wheel Overland Adventure. I cannot wait to do it again next year.